Hi, welcome back to side two of Big Generator from Yes. The uh, follow-up to 90215, and I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this record. This is such a good record. Um, in ways that uh, the last one wasn't. Uh, and it's, I don't know why, why I'm enjoying this so much, but I am. So on this side, we have Love Will Find A Way. Final Eyes, I'm Running, Holy Lamb, Song for Harmonic Conversions. That sounds like a John Anderson one to me, doesn't it? There we go. So, it's such an 80s looking uh, thing as well. The font, the colours, the big, bold design. It is so, it is so of its time but in a really really good way right let's go then so three two one there we go let's see what side two brings shall we Okay. I don't think I was expecting a little chamber orchestra. That's a lovely little riff, you can call it that, that phrase.
wicked. Again. I'm going to try not to talk as much on this side. I, mean, I realise I pretty much talked over every single song. But, uh, I bet I don't manage it. Okay, we're right back into the 1970s now. This is a very early yes sound. Very, very, very appreciative of uh, Trevor Rabin's guitar. His, um, his style of playing is markedly different from uh, Steve Howe's. And he's bringing something completely different to the, to the group. Did I get away with it? The downside of using records. I love those little bass runs, the slow ones that Chris Fire's playing with.
this is about as progressive almost as anything I've done, isn't it? This is so, so good. I'm loving this iteration of Yes. I think this is superb. Oh, I know a lot, a lot some people don't like this, I know, but. Um, ooh. Oh, some people don't like this record, I know that, but uh, for me, I'm going to say this is one of my favourites so far. annoying sorry oh, 
This side has got so much more in common with early yes and the first side. This is a really is sort of, you can sort of trace the DNA of this sound right back to those early yes albums. This is just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I wish it's a little bit more bottom end. I said that already about Chris Squire's bassist being further forward, but it's quite not, not quite bassy enough. With more oomph from underneath. But that's a small complaint. I look God, this is good. Anderson, well See, done. The more we find, the more we realize that every time. See, the laws of nature keep telling us like a friend. Spirit of emotion dancing to the wind. High above, high above, so sure it's fine. 
This is just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Doing little skips. Anyway, we got there. We got there. <laughs> Big generator from Yes is fast becoming, fast becoming, I've only listened to it once, is potentially going to be one of my favourite Yes records. And that surprised me, because I was kind of came into this with a little bit of trepidation and not expecting great things. Um, how wrong I am. This is a superb record. The songwriting on here, the musicianship, the inventiveness, the sound, the... John Anderson's vocal, the, it, the production, apart from these, a little bit more bottom end, uh, a bit more bass guitar, a bit more kick drum. Um, but overall, this is literally one of my favourite Yes records I've listened to so far. And it's absolutely fantastic. This is so much better than 90215. And it's kind of if you were going to sort of i don't know demonstrate uh, a curve showing the um evolution of yes as a band you start off with yes and then you'd go to the yes album and then maybe you'd go to uh relayer and maybe to time and a word and then maybe to uh drama but then you'd come to this big generator and you could see the sound all the time developing and changing and growing and the band becoming just just growing and trying different things and uh and and still being absolutely unique ah oh. Wow. Absolutely wow. This is fantastic. And I'll fight you if you disagree. No, I won't, because I'm not that sort of person. But um, I really, really, really rate this. I think this is a very, very, very good album. Um, clearly um, plonked into a, an era in the mid-80s. Uh, the sound is absolutely of that time, but it works so well. On this record it is just so good it's brilliant it is absolutely brilliant well done yes well done you guys for recommending it oh yeah i was gonna get there anyway but but there you go loved it i hope you did too um perhaps i need to go back and listen to 90210 again but it's uh 90215 what is it called i keep saying this record ah 90125 that's the record I need to listen to it again I suspect because I, maybe now with fresh ears and being uh, 
slightly more accustomed and attuned to this sound, it may be a better listen. So I ought to go and listen to it again. But uh, this, for me, is great. Anyway, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim over and out.